lovely. That is the shot you've been looking for for the last however many episodes since you started building this. Welcome to my Transport Fever 2 series, Northumbria, where I'm attempting to recreate a real-world, long-abandoned railway branch line in Northern England. It's time for the inaugural journey of the Rothbury passenger train along the freshly opened, freshly minted <laughs> Rothley branch line of the Northumberland Central Railway. Yes, it's November 1, 1870, and by gosh, we've taken some time to get here, but... Ah, <sighs> lovely. So, this trip in real life took about 40, 45 minutes one way. Um, we're not taking that long today. Uh, surprisingly, this one can be done in about 25. So, hmm, interesting. What we are going to do is to check out a lot of the countryside that we haven't yet seen. And, of course, keep an eye on our passenger train. Oh, well, get rid of you. No. Better idea. Go that view. Ah, much nicer. Yeah, now all you've got to do is get the camera in the right position. Yes. Oh, indeed. Back it out. Lovely. And up, perhaps. There we go. That's it. Let's, um, follow the train. Oh, hello. Yep, we've got to wait for our ore train here at the, um, what is it, Hartington Quarry Sidings? Yes, yes, yes. That's a pretend siding that doesn't exist in real life. It's just for the game. So we can get more than one train working on this single track line. You keep talking about that. Yeah, well, when you think about it, the train takes, what, 40 minutes one way. And while it's doing its thing at the other end, oh, sorry, microphone, while it's doing its thing at the other end, then something else can be working the line elsewhere. Uh, transport fever, however, it doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't. Oh, where are we going? Having a look at Rothley Crags. There's supposed to be a castle on top of that. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't know whether I'll do that. I, I, I've had a couple of goes at it off camera and um, wasn't very successful. But never mind. Are you going to fit under here? Uh, I will now. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, stay with me for the journey. Uh, we're going to have some sizzling commentary. Sizzling, absolutely brilliant commentary uh, as we follow along with our Roth, Rothbury. <sighs> Rothley, Rothbury. God, there's so many Roths here, it's unbelievable. Yep, and checking out the mid-1700 man-made Rothley Lakes. Ah... It's amazing what you can do when you've got a lot of money. Sir Walter's family, uh, very rich. Very, very rich. Nice of them to set that up for us to look at. But in the meantime, yes, we're cruising up through the Northumbrian countryside and about to come into Rothley Station. Now, uh, it didn't stop here. Oh, whoops. That wasn't good, Stephen. Poor camera work, my God. Ah, oh, well, I'm still a virgin as far as all of this sort of thing's concerned, but never mind, we'll just come in a bit closer to our train. So that, you know, that sort of thing doesn't happen again. I'm loving this map. Ah, just used quarry there by the looks of it. Yeah, 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 we didn't, we didn't use that one. 
Okay. Ooh, and there's our tramway up to Glen Leighton Quarry. Nice, nice. You gonna fit under here? I will. Don't panic. Now, when this line first opened, Roth Lee Station, yes, was not set up for public access. It was purely private for Sir Walter Trevelyan and um, his operations. Now, you might notice I've done a few things here. Uh, just put a fence in. Yep, yep, yep. Made it look a bit more... A bit more, yes. Yes, you did. It does look a bit more um, authentic, I suppose is the word you're looking for. Authentic as it can be, considering... Um, the siding on the right actually stopped <laughs> about where that signal is, but and it was a it was a head shunt. But um, the game shall use it as a passing siding. Oh, okay. Are we getting back up to speed again, or what? Well, all of that section through there is a thirty, just to slow it all down. And and, and here we go, and building up speed again. Oh, good. Good, come down, let's have a little look at this train. Do you want to try the the the, um, the front brake man's view? Uh, you mean with this dude? Yeah, well the trouble with that view is, as you can see, uh, we've kind of lost the loco. Oh, okay, how about out the windows? Nah, nah, not good. Alright, we won't do that then. We'll just... Um, stick about here and keep an eye on these guys this bridge that we're coming up on yeah it looks really 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 high doesn't it yeah well that's the game you've got to come up four notches to get over the um, line which is ridiculously high it could have been easily half that distance, but... Ah, oh, whatever. All right, we're almost at our first stop. Oh, by the way, sorry, scintillating commentary, forgot to tell you that we're actually heading downhill now. The previous station was actually the highest point on the whole line. And now we're heading downhill, slightly, into the valley of the river Font. Oh, that's a, a useless piece of information for us all. Thank you, Stephen. Ah, and I did manage, I don't know whether you can see them, but, oh, there we go. Can you see them? Sheep, they're hiding in that long grass. Oh, I'll believe you. Well, there are, there, there, there are quite a few sheep in there, look. See? Lots. Fair enough. Well, sheep are what Northumbria is all about, remember? Uh, I don't remember, but thanks for telling me. Okay, here we go, coming into Usley. Now, I have made a couple of changes off camera. Uh, mainly to the southbound routes. Right. Which ones were it? It were at back at Rothley and up at Brinkburn Station. Yeah, back out, back out. Oh, not up, out. There we go. A few changes to the signals. Oh my gosh, look at the people that are waiting there. Yeah, and we've got a little fence in, in place. Nice. And some logs from the tomboy plantation waiting to be picked up lovely yeah a couple of uh, changes to the signals uh, with a test run um, ended up with some traffic jams that <clears throat> yeah, weren't too clever oh well never mind all right are you getting ready for the big the big reveal up here I'm going to have to hit the pause button so I get it right, you know that. I know, but it's going to be worth it. You have waited so long for this. Have I? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. This is the shot over the Fontburn Viaduct. Ah, that one. That big reveal. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep. Just past that next group of trees. Alright, so we'll pause it then and get the camera all set up. Oh, look at this beautiful Northumbrian countryside. Doesn't it look great? And the plantations. Yep. Righto. Are you ready for it? Oh, I will be. Uh, let's get ready. Go back. Back. And up. Oh, and back more. Yep, yep, yep. Are we going to be above the trees? No, you're not. Ah, great. Alright. Here we go. You're going to wreck it, you know that. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. Alright, ready? Ready for that pause button? Ready, set, hit it now. That's it. Good. Now. <sighs> oh, that's excellent. You've done such a great job. Shut up. Bring it, bring it out further. Yes. And along. Yes. And down. Oh, oh. That's it. That is that is going to be it. You think? No, you're too far away. Dread. Is that it? Oh, I hope so. Let's go then. Oh, lovely. That is the shot you've been looking for for the last however many episodes since you started building this. Nice. Coming up on another game required passing loop, but never mind. We've just passed Fontbert. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Uh, we are waiting for something. Oh, I think I can see it too, coming just the other side of that bridge. Ooh. Well, hurry up, we haven't got all day. Mm hmm. What are you? I don't know, but can we get in a bit closer and have a look? You look like a cattle train. Of course, of course, we've got the um, auction mart up at Rothley. Yes. Rothbury. Get it right, mate. Get it right. And um, that train's headed off down into Morpeth to pick up some cows. To uh, have, a, have, a, have a place at the auction mart. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Come on, down and across, and back on, hook on the back of the train. Back of the train, there we go, how's that? Okay, now just stay there for a bit. We have still got an enormous amount of uh, stuff to hook up on this line yet. We've got all these collieries and quarries and so on to hook into this line. We're only, what is it, 1871, so about 10 years we'll start work on some of those. And that happens for the next oh, 20, 30, 40 years. They come and go. By the way, commentary's lacking, but that bridge that you can see in the distance back there, that was the second highest point on the line. And now we're going down again down gradually into the valley of the river Calcutt or Coquette or however you want to pronounce it I, Northumbrians Google says Calcutt is that right? 
it doesn't look right. It, it looks very French. It should be sort of, you know, split with the coquet. But cowcat is what Google Translate tells me it should sound like. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Oh, that river looks a bit wild and woolly. Oh, well, we've just had a big storm, so there's lots of <coughs> slushing water happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's another very high, narrow bridge crossing the line. And, ah, another passing section. Lovely. There will, in the future, be a tramway that heads off down to the right there to a quarry on the right and a colliery in the middle of the screen. But, not today. Farms. Yeah, lots of farms. That's Crook Farm. Or The Crook Farm. One of the ones we're using to supply grain up this track here that we can about to cross over. I did spend a little bit of money and um, for your viewing pleasure upgraded these horses and carts so they look a little bit uh, fresher than what they were before. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. Come over this side. Oh, we've got some more horsies crossing the road. Yeah, well, they're heading down to the Lee Farm. Second of the two big farms working up here. And the Lee sidings here. They'll connect with the double track narrow gauge railway over to the colliery on the hill over there. Oh, okay. Well, in the 1920s that'll happen. Oh, Roger. It's a fair way away then. Yep. Now this countryside looks um, pretty barren, doesn't it? But, yeah, good for sheep. Good for certain crops. Don't ask me what, but, hey. Right, that bridge that we're heading to, that is just before our second last stop on this journey at Brinkburn. I wonder how many people are going to be sitting there waiting for us. Hopefully quite a few. I would like to have some passengers on this uh, trip. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, hello, signals. This didn't everything. Alright, okay. Brinkburn. Yeah, I made some changes here too, by the way. Um, ooh, lots of people waiting. Yep, 
Yeah, we've now got a station master's cottage there instead of a signal box. And uh, the signal box is in that middle building now. It's, it was actually a, a frame relay shed. And look, there's another little carriage on the platform. It's amazing what research digs up if you do it. We've got 20 people on board as well for the last leg of our journey just around that next bend and behind that hill we've got Rothbury well isn't that cool done well let's go up and back for the last bit come on you can go a bit faster than 30 now you're out of the zone Still going downhill, by the way. And we're still at this point about, I think, what is it, about 100 feet above the River Cowquette down here. Colliery over there, yes. Ooh, this moorland looks, um, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Very uninspiring. That, that's, I think, that also there, along with the one at Usley, near Usley Station, I think that was also the site of a Roman camp, you know, a couple of thousand years ago. So, yeah, nice. Right. The river's down there somewhere, hiding. There it is. Uh, coming around through the trees. And little mill and little farm on the right-hand side. Yep. Want to get in a bit closer? Uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Oh. Uh, you're losing it. I know. It's the bend. We'll get in closer. Okay, I'll, I'll move forward. How's that? Oh. Rothbury is in sight. Okay, we'll come down and join the train again. Down. Don't hit the bridge. I won't. Don't panic. Now, remember this cutting I was raving about. Yeah, yeah, up to 15 metres or so deep in places. And, you know, 250, 300 metres long. Yeah, well, this is it. And, of course, a sheep crossing bridge so the sheep could get over to the land on the right for grazing. Oh, cool. Oh, and you hinted about this before. You've got a whole heap of carriages already parked here. Yeah, cattle wagons. It's, it's, it was busy for the cattle. The auction mart that was up here. Ah, Roger. Okay, hang on. What's that? Aha. He's doing some shunting shunting some uh, carriages around. Oh, you have been busy? Yeah, I even weeded. Look. Weeded. Moved the signal box, actually, to where it should have been. Put a crane on the platform and some more wagons in place. And, and fix that <coughs> carriage there. That was definitely in the wrong spot. Oh, hey, that is so cool. Right, well, I'll just hit pause for a sec, because I don't want um, the train to spin around and take off again. All right, we're going to have a little look. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, 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 I did set up a bus service, and I'd like to very quickly show you that bus service. In fact, I'd like to show you the two 
bus services. Oh, well that one does Witten Terrace. Yep, okay. And that one comes over and does a loop through Rothbury. And uh, hopefully that will help get people from the town into the station. A little turnaround there for them. Oh, that's nice. And a couple of cattle pens. Don't quite know if that's the way they're meant to be organised. But look, we have cattle waiting in one of the pens. So that would be a couple of carriages that were unloaded. And thanks, guys. They'll eventually be trundled off over here to the auction mart. Uh-huh. And why have we got grain here? You tell me. Uh, we have grain here because... Because I know why you do. Yes, because we need to look at this. Yep. No, not that one. No, that one. No. That one. There we go. Rothley Cattle Mart. Yeah. Now you... You are a, an input of grain. Right. So we're going to have grain coming here from Morpeth. That's where the cows come from. That's it. Aha. And for some reason there's grain sitting on the platform in various places. That's fine. We've got a few other wagons and empty ones and goods and food and tools and planks and ale. Lots and lots of ale. Yeah, lots and lots of ale. You changed this around too. Um, just tidied this up so it looked a little bit better. And moved this from about here up to there. And there you go. Can we go again? Let's let's hit the go button. How many we got for the return journey? Eighteen. Well, that's all right. Yeah, I think so. Is it going to fight with the uh, little shunting train? No, he's here. Train six. He's going to wait. Thank you. I think he's pointing in the wrong direction, though. Wouldn't he be reversing up here with those carriages? Minor technicality. Yes, he probably would be. <laughs> oh, well. Come on, off you go. He should be the other way around. Oh, well, I can't flip it. Okay. Um, no, no, I should have, I should have done something, but there we go, that is the inaugural ride along the Rothbury branch line. Now, if you want to, uh, you can hang around for another 20 odd minutes or so, I'll just shut up. And we'll just sit here, mm, back a bit, no, not up a bit, back a bit, there we go, There's, oh, you lost it, oh, that's because in this view, ASDW whatever stuff works, but not in that chase view. Ah. Uh, so that's what you want to do, is it? Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe I should go up. Are you above the trees? At this point in time, does it matter? I think we'll probably just clip through that. Hopefully we'll miss a few of them. There aren't that many trees along here anyway. Looks like you're about to get all of them. As well as autosave. Hey, now that's good timing. That means we've been here for half an hour. 
Thanks for what I say. You're welcome. Just a reminder that, you know, we're still around. Yep. Okay. And I'll tell you what. I'll shut up. If you want to hang around till the till the end and follow this back into Roughly. No. Past Roughly? Yes. <sighs> You're still suffering from man flu, aren't you? And you can't think I am. Okay. If you would like to hang around and follow this train back into Scott's Gap, then please do so. And enjoy the uh, the view. We might just come up a bit higher. And back just a fret. No, that's not back. That's back. Ah, okay. Then we might just... Yeah. We could do that. And just follow it. You know, I do not like that effect on the rails. Yeah, I know, that's annoying, isn't it? Can we get rid of it somehow? Uh, no. That'd be right. Hey, did you notice? The first time through. What huge change I made at this station. Were you clever enough to notice it? Yep. 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 I relented. Uh, it's no longer straight. I've used the Ultimate Station mod and... ta -da, We're on a curve. And it looks so much better. It really, really does. Oh, and you've got a bus stop there. Yeah, well, there's also a bus service that takes uh, people down into town over there. Right over there. Where that tree line is. Into East Row. So that's cool. Also have a, a bus service at the next stop at Usley. To take people from the station up to the village. You're not going to rave for another 20 minutes, though. No, 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 no. I only wanted to tell you about the curvy platform change. And now, hey, it's all up to you guys. Did you like that? Click the like button. Thank you. Want more? Subscribe and ding the bell. You'll get more. Simple as that. And we've still got heaps more to go with Northumbria, believe it or not. Even though we've opened the line and, and technically... <sighs> The rebuild is done. No, well, it's not done. It's just underway. You've still got another, what, 80 years, 90 years before Mr. Beeching came along and closed it down and you ripped the rails. Oh. Lots can happen in that time. Sure. Okay. In the meantime, until the next episode... I'm Stephen Spry, and uh, guess what? It's Huru from me. Okay, bye now. <laughs>